Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I am going to be sharing with you what I got in my Stitch Fix box. So is anybody else really excited about this new feature with previewing your box and giving your stylist feedback on what you want? Thank you. It's just going to make a huge difference for me with my Stitch Fix boxes. I really like the element of surprise too. So I left two items for the stylist to pick for me. It just makes it a little bit more exciting. But if this is your very first time here to my channel, I upload new videos for you every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see more romantic fashion, styling videos, unboxings, try-on hauls, I have an affordable try-on haul coming. I was actually supposed to do that one today, but I needed more time to make that one because there's a lot of stuff in it. I'm going to leave both my Stitch Fix and my Trunk Club referral links down in my description box. I personally prefer Trunk Club, but a lot of people love Stitch Fix. It's definitely just what you prefer. In the box, you'll get a return shipping label. So I'm going to put that over here. That is for anything that I decide not to keep in the box. And then you also get pricing information, which I always like to read at the end of the video because I just don't want to have to worry about the prices while I'm having fun styling the outfits. I am going to start with the shoes that I decided to include in my box because these actually looked really exciting. Okay, I don't know how I feel about these right now. I like them, but there's something about them that I don't. I'm not sure what it is. Actually, these will look really nice with this dress I'm wearing right now. But these are from Mark Fisher. They're in a size 10 medium, and they're just like a nice slip-on shoe. They are in a really bright green color. It does have like a nice leather interior and a nice spongy heel. These will be really comfortable. I could, I could definitely see myself wearing these. The only thing with these is that I'm not sure how many outfits I would get from these. Even though the color is so much fun. Like, I am just all about the color right now. I don't know. I, I mean, I, as far as the quality, I think they're really nice. When I was previewing everything, I think they do include the prices, but I can't remember. Um, and I think these were pretty reasonable. So, I don't know. We'll talk about prices later, though. <laughs> everything else is going to be clothes. This one is from a brand called L.U.Q. The material is a little bit itchy though. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit thicker, but it is nice and light. I really like that. It has smock material. It is in a peplum style and it has a really pretty v-neck. I love those plunging v-necks in the summer. They are just beautiful. I also love how it has a little bow in the front, but I'm getting a really weird smell from this. Just looking at this, the style is something that I would definitely wear. Size medium looks like it's going to be perfect. I am going to go try this on right away so that you can see what it looks like styled and then I will continue moving on. really well. I love how it has this really pretty blue color. This is definitely something that I'm trying to find more of to add to my closet, but it does have this like little elastic that goes right underneath the chest and that has this little cute bow. And then it's in this peplum style. It's a little bit more cropped. I loved pairing it with these white jeans too because it just gives it more of a summery look. I am noticing, however, that it's just a little bit itchy on my skin, but I'm also very, very sensitive. It might not be something that would be a problem for everybody because it's very subtle but I do like to make sure that I don't have that issue with any top that I get just because I want to make sure that I wear it but then this is the view of the back it fits my shoulders really well it's very comfortable I think it's just a really nice basic summer top oh my goodness I actually really like this um this is from free people movements this is the grand slam sweat pullover in size medium in pink I really like the material of this this is really soft i'm kind of trying to get away from like sweatshirts and stuff but i haven't really invested in a lot of loungewear yet i've invested in one so far but i could definitely see myself really liking these especially with like high-waisted shorts or something it's such a cute summer look uh, just by the craft style there's like this stretchy material i'm not sure how expensive it'd be though because it does feel like really nice quality and free people can be a little bit expensive but i am gonna go come up with a fun outfit and then see how I feel about it on and if it's actually something that I wear a lot and then I will keep moving on. Thank you. 
time I can get a girly extravagant outfit, I am 100% done with it. I feel like tulle skirts are very dressy, but I love wearing hoodies with them. They're just, it's just my thing. I really like it. But the sweater is just so comfortable and I love the pink. I love it. Oh my goodness. The bottom part of the sweatshirt, it stretches out so it's really comfortable. I love how it has this cute little v-neck and then the sleeves are just so oversized and comfy and I love how the crop top fits in perfectly with this high-waisted skirt. The other thing that I really like about this top is that it's not a super bright pink. It's something that's a little bit more girly, not so like highlight. These are just a pair of black shorts. I loved the button-up style. Sometimes those can turn me off though because it's a lot of work to button them up, but this is in a style that it wouldn't like gape. I was also hoping that they would be very stretchy and lots of stretch in them which i am so happy about there's also like a bunch of distress on it and i actually don't have a pair of black shorts they are from a brand called just usa and they are a size 30. i always love it when i get basics from stitch fix that i know i'll wear because a lot of times they're expensive but the amount of wear that you get out of them they are definitely worth it with the length of these because a lot of times when I get shorts because I'm so tall a lot of the times I'll be playing around with them and make sure they're high enough and not coming up too high have enough length to work with around my hips and everything and these ones I don't have to mess around with at all they're very comfortable to sit and walk around in there's so much stretch in them that they just kind of adjust to my figure exactly but i thought that i would really have an issue with the button-up style because i mean it's a lot of work i'd rather just zipper it up it actually wasn't that difficult it didn't take much time at all and the buttons are very secure so i don't feel like they're gonna pop off or anything and especially with these being a black pair of shorts i could do a lot with them and i'm very surprised at myself that i don't have a pair of black shorts in my closet okay this last one i'm really excited about because this is one one that I put into my box. These are a pair of a wide leg linen pants. I have one pair that I wear all the time from TJ Maxx and I've never been able to find another pair of linen pants that come even close to it. These feel amazing. Like they feel like really good quality and I'm pretty sure the price was extremely reasonable. They are from Mason and Bell. They're a size large. They're 55% linen. The only thing I'm worried about is that they might not be long enough for me because I am tall, but I love how these have the elastic waistband. It is in the wide leg style, but sometimes these end up coming out just because I have wider hips and more of a curvy butt. They tend to come out more of like a straight leg than the wide leg. So wide leg stuff can be really tricky for me. So I don't know if these are going to work for me, but I can't get over the color. Like this is definitely my color. afraid that I wasn't going to be able to get these over my hips but they did fit and they're really comfortable. They are pulling a little bit because my hips are so wide just around the pockets. I'm definitely finding out that it's very difficult to find the right wide leg style for myself because this one I feel like isn't coming out to the type of wide leg that I'm wanting. I'm definitely wanting a little bit more more like the palazzo pants, I feel like, where it just kind of flares out and it's very flowy and everything. This one is a little bit straighter than I was hoping for. It almost looks like a capri style almost. It comes to about right here, so like right at my belly button and it feels just nice and comfortable. I do like how you have the elastic in the back. I am also wearing heels with it, so that's probably playing with the length a little bit. But I want to be able to wear heels with it and feel like it's long enough. I'm glad I tried it on though because the more I try this style out, the better feel I get what I'm looking for. Um, I think I'm looking more for the palazzo pant. Now that I have tried everything on, I am going to go ahead and share with you the prices. The Free People Movement Pullover, this one in size medium, this is $78. $78 for this one I think is reasonable for free people and for Stitch Fix. I still think that it's a bit expensive, but 
I do like it and it's very good quality. So if you like it, I mean, it's good. Next we have the Just USA Frey Hem High Rides shorts and these are $48. I think that is an amazing price for these. Like these feel really sturdy. There's so much stretch in these. Definitely might consider keeping these because that price is really good. And I mean, I know there's so much that I could wear with these, but I will let you know for sure when I let you know what I decide to keep. Okay, and then next we have the Mason and Bell wide leg pants in size large, and these are $44. I felt like I just needed a little bit extra length with these ones. I just, I have to get it exactly right. And I have to know that I'm gonna wear them. And I know that I for sure would wear those black shorts over these more. The Ramona Peplum top in navy size medium, and this is $38. I have so many things in my closet that are very similar to this style. I can tell right away as soon as I wear something if it's gonna irritate me and if it's just going to sit in my closet. So I don't want to purchase something that is not going to get worn. Last, these shoes are the Mark Fisher Footwear Mules in size 10 and these are $79. I do think that that is reasonable for a pair of shoes. I actually really like these. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to think about this one because there are some things that I really liked in this box. I think just being able to preview everything makes such a big difference. The stylist pick subtotal was $287. The buy all discount would subtract $71.75. So the order subtotal would be $215.25. I've definitely gotten much more expensive boxes but i think that everything was actually very well priced i'm really happy with this box i think i got some really good basics there are definitely some things that i requested that didn't get anywhere near what i asked for in my box but i really liked all these colors they were so much fun to style yes so i am going to go ahead and share with you what i decided to keep okay so it is the following day and I have decided on what I wanted to keep from my stitch fix. I ended up keeping these shorts. Already the weather is starting to warm up and having just a basic pair of black shorts in my closet, I know these will be worn so much. I almost kept that pink sweatshirt, but I know I have an amazing trunk club coming and I really just want to save up for that. So I decided to let it go this time. I was so close though. But this stitch fix was amazing. I'm really happy with what I got in this box. Let me know what you liked from this box and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!